Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and today what I'm going to show you over here on my website, I have these cool little Instagram feed pushing right into my website. So as I go to Instagram and I post uh, using a certain hashtag, these images pop right in in reference to my website. Now, right here, I have a little bit of information in reference to how to get this feed on your website or if you want us to do it for you. But one thing I'm missing right here is the email information for people to take action. Send me an email in reference to getting the feed on their website or whatever the case may be so what we're going to do is we're going to bounce right over here to Dreamweaver today and we are already here set up in this section in reference to what we're going to do as far as creating that link now when I come over here to Dreamweaver you definitely want to make sure that you find the location where you actually want to put your email link here and I'm going to just give it a little space there and I'm going to type out my email address Okay, so I got my email address in there and now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I make this link uh, user friendly. So what I'm going to do here really fast, I'm going to just show it to you in so many different steps and stages. So if you're not really all that familiar with Dreamweaver, you'll absolutely know exactly what to do in reference to uh, making sure that this link is clickable and people can actually click into it. So when I come over here, refresh my website, and I do have a callback, so it should take us right back to that section. There we go. Uh, you can see here, here's the link. I can only copy the link, uh, possibly, but I can actually, you know, click the link and send the email there. So now what I want to do is I want to go back over here to Dreamweaver. We successfully got the email on the web page there, but we don't necessarily have uh, what we need in reference to making it clickable. So let me go over here and make sure everything's spelled correctly here don't know what's going on there but okay so now what we want to do is we want to just highlight the the email address right there I'm gonna go right here to the top of Dreamweaver I'm gonna go to insert and right here under insert Dreamweaver has already provided the email link uh, you know quick capture right there so here's the text what we want the text to say which I'm gonna go ahead and just use uh, the email address once again and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this right here and I'm going to pop this down here in reference to this is the email address it's going to send off to. But if you don't want your email address to be displayed on the web, you can type right here in the text, email us or whatever the case may be, and that's going to show up there. So I'm just going to hit OK. And you can see what Dreamweaver has done for us. It created the H reference mail to websitecandy.com at g website candy at gmail.com and it closed it off right there it took the email address that we already had there and it closed the a bracket right there in reference to creating that to make it a link for us to send out to whoever we want to send it to and now what I'm gonna do right down here in my properties panel you can see the link down here mail to semicolon website candy at gmail.com so let's go ahead and push that update really quickly I don't necessarily use the get and put buttons in Dreamweaver I just was kinda of taught to just drag the file individually because I don't want to you know push a whole bunch of different files and wait for all that to happen in reference to you know that's a whole nother tutorial so what we're going to do here is now you can see where we have the you know our email address here and the link is black I have my links that come in I have them come in as black and you can see here if I click the link there it's going to take us over and we're able to send the email to ourselves and I already have myself my address book so that's why that's coming up right there but if I open this up right here and double click inside there this is coming from and you can see where it's you know it's being emailed to website candy at gmail.com and like I said I already have myself my address book that's the reason why my name is showing up there however you know and where I want to send it from I want to send it from Daniel M. Portis uh, you know at iCloud.com whatever the case may be but we're not going to send that email we're going to go ahead and close that for the simple fact that what we want to do is we want to make sure there's a subject line and this is the biggest portion of this tutorial I really want to show you a lot of you guys are using Dreamweaver and you already know how to create an email link now I'm going to just advance you in reference to making it a subject line so the information can be you know displayed so right down here inside of our link here, what we're going to do is we're going to just add 
a question mark, you know, because just think of, you know, uh, you know, here's a question in reference to the subject. OK, so we're going to do question. Subject. And then what we're going to do is the equal sign, uh, equal sign right there. And then what we can do right behind there, what we're going to do is we're just going to type in, I need more info. And when I touch outside of that box right here, what we're going to see display here is now mail to semicolon website candy at gmail.com. And you can notice that there's a question mark subject equals I need more info. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to push that update really quickly. And you're going to notice what we have here is our subject is going to be within the email. Let's go ahead and refresh the page out. And like I mentioned, I do have the callback, so to take us back to that section there. Now, this right here looks exactly the same. It looks like nothing's changed. But when I actually click this link right here, and it goes and opens up my default email client, you'll notice that right here it says, I need more info. So you can already have whatever you need right there inside the subject in reference to when your user is on your website, you want to make it really, really easy for them. Here's one thing that I tell every single one of my clients, and this is a rule that I live by never ever 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 did I say never ever trust the user for the simple fact that sometimes people will send you information uh, they won't put anything here in the subject and they're talking about Instagram and this that and a third and this that and a third and you're completely clueless like what are you talking about I don't understand where this email came from why you're sending it what's going on for the simple fact they didn't do anything in the subject and if it's the information is already filled out a lot of times people won't necessarily mess with it because you know it's already set up and ready to go so when they send you an email you should recognize the information that you put inside your website in reference to Dreamweaver right here to say you know I need more information or you can say you know we can go ahead and change this real fast we can just change it right here on the fly we don't have to go down here to the little box we can say message from website and go ahead and save it by hitting command s as a shortcut let's go ahead and push this page really quickly alright we got the page pushed there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna refresh and what we have here now is when I click inside there you'll see message from website on this email and this one right here says I need more information so you can change it up you can customize it possibly what I would do for the next tutorial is I'm going to show you how to set up a rule in your email client to where somebody sends you a message and you know what the subject's going to be all the time or a certain user that's sending you emails how to capture in reference to a folder in reference to how to really capture that email to know exactly where it's at not necessarily just being sporadically throughout your inbox so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned something from this hopefully you you know you you, you gain some knowledge in reference to, you know, very basic HTML uh, working with Dreamweaver. Go ahead and give it a try. Let me know how it worked out. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you. Goodbye.